Good day everyone! My name is Mr. Emil Bihander and welcome to General Physics 1! Our month for today is to solve measurement problems involving conversion of units, expression of measurement in scientific notation. But before we take on this mill, I provided supplementary videos. Today's lesson is about significant figures. But first, what is a significant figure? The number of significant figures is used to contribute to the degree of accuracy of a measure. Imagine measuring a small ace of spades. What do you read? Is it a 2? Obviously not. So we add a significant figure like a 3, but it seems it's between the numbers 3 and 4. So what do we do? We add another significant figure until we are sure. It measures 2.32 cm. Not all numbers are significant figures. How do we determine which are significant? It's with the use of the balloon technique. First of all, non-zero digits are significant. What can be tricky though are the zeros because not all are significant. We determine which are significant by thinking that zeros are balloons. This works by using arrows popping those insignificant zeros. But first, we must remember in which direction to throw the arrow. Throwing arrows to determine significant figures are not that simple. First, we must determine if the number is decimal or whole number. Because the arrow starts from the left if it's a decimal number, and starts at the right if it's a whole number. Got the rules? Great! It's time for an example then. Not everything pops when encountering an arrow. Numbers 1 to 9 are all considered significant. Our example is a decimal number. In which direction does the arrow start? Left? Very good! Now let's try and see what happens. The first zeros popped, so they are insignificant, while the digit 5 was not. So as we can see, the arrow stops at the number 5, so we have only one significant figure. Let's try another example. We have a whole number. Where do we start with this one? From the right? Very good! Now let's see what happens when the arrow is 5. Since the arrow stops at the number 3, aside from the numbers 8 to 3, also the zero between the 3 and 8 is significant. Why? because the zero was saved by the number 3. Activity time! Direction! Number 1. Write down your answers on a notepad or paper. Number 2. Indicate the number of significant figures. Now we've reached the end of our video. I hope you learned something. See you on the next one. Goodbye!